Okay. So let's start here. So y'all know normally I don't like to talk about shit that's just stupid and asinine like Candace Owens. Mm -hmm. Um, But I wanted to, because I don't know whoever Florio Gina is, but I feel like y'all wake up and decide that y'all want to attack people for no other reason other than you're miserable. Mm -hmm. So Gina said, obesity is on the rise. And yet women are told by celebrities in the media that being obese is normal and healthy. You never see them try this with men. Only women are insecure enough to fall for it. And I just want to say this first before I read the rest. Gina, we society doesn't have to tell men anything because men can be big as big pun, notorious B.I.G., Rick Ross, and every other fat bellied nigga walking around with a Versace shirt on can be having their titties hanging down to their belly and still have women waiting to, to wait on them and submit. So at yeah. the end of the day, we're not going to fucking front like men and women have the same uh, positioning with the weight situation, okay? Because I don't see y'all putting up posts of overweight men in the industry. Y'all only want to keep putting up pictures of fucking Lizzo up Say here as the poster child for, oh, y'all championing obesity. This is not about championing obesity because most obese bitches is not twerking and playing at the same time, okay? I hate that y'all do this because... I feel like Lizzo's size is Lizzo's size. Like she's not like out here just not working out, not walking, not doing any type of physical, you know, work at all in order to look this way. That's just that lady body. That's the way she built. Okay. And I don't feel like anybody should be telling her she's not beautiful. And I use this, I wanted this whole post here because I thought she looked so beautiful in this picture. I love that hair on her. Okay. So, Candice, you and your emaciated, you know, very teenage boy-like body can just take a fucking seat and relax, okay? You know she look like a little boy by the body and a chin, but I'm going to leave it alone, okay? She says, if you peep comments on any of Lizzo's fat acceptance photos, you will undoubtedly find a score of batshit insane women telling her that she looks beautiful. Men do not lie to other men this way. Child, tell Tony from Ready to Love who lies on his dick that yeah, men you don't look like lie. Arthur. Okay, <laughs> cut it out. Men do not lie to other men like this. They do. They lie about worse shit than women do. Women don't lie on their pussy the way men lie on their dick to other men. But girl, and that's an even more dangerous situation, but whatever. They do not pretend that clinical obesity is beautiful. No, but they pretend like it doesn't matter if the nigga got money. Because DJ Jazzy Faye set his big ass on Candy's Candy Coated live show and talked about his criteria for women. And I'm like, nigga, you could barely walk over to the bed to fuck me. And you got all of this opinion about what a woman should look like versus Lizzo, who y'all use as the poster child for obesity. But that lady can run on a treadmill, perform a whole live show, twerk, play a mm -hmm. damn flute, sing and everything without breaking uh, breaking her breath like I've never heard Lizzo sound like out of breath during a live performance okay so it annoys me that y'all act like she's the poster child for this shit. that annoys me stop using her for that okay you need to find some stock photos of a fat motherfucker if you want to be talking about this shit stop using her and then the last part only women could be emotionally manipulated into supporting their own eradication via support for trans women. Only women could be fooled into supporting a death cult of fat acceptance. Today's culture battles proves that women are more irrational and emotional than men. Then can you explain why they do more of the murdering than we do, Candace? Can you explain to us why women are more emotional and irrational, but men seem to be the ones mostly responsible for homicide in our in our in our society? Girl, shut up. Thank you, Gwen Starks, for the super chat. Thank you, ladies. Y'all are on it tonight. Thank you. We appreciate that. That was a hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, listen. I forgot you used to do that, Bondi. Shake them. Shake them. Okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, y'all. Um, I feel like Candace is upset because of her lack of tit. I don't know. What do y'all think? 
Candace is obsessed with getting attention for the unpopular opinion. Yeah. And I feel like when she go home, that's not how she truly feel. But I feel like she's created this persona that she has to continue to push. And maybe she truly believes it at this point. But you just never know who and how you're going to turn out to be who you are, Candace, because I feel like some people may have medical conditions as to why they might be a bit overweight and, and can't seem to, you know, lose it. Maybe they're on steroids or something. Maybe they had, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they had some things going on with them. And y'all be thinking that obesity is just a huge ass person. Like it doesn't really have to be like mm -hmm. your weight. Like you could be five, two and weigh in 180 and your doctor like, girl, you a little overweight. Like this thing, what this, this is giving, you need to lose about 40. You know, so you just, I mean, it doesn't have to be a huge person. Like, you probably overweight right now, Miss Candace. For your height, who knows? You know, I feel like this absolutely is not about health. Um, they don't give a fuck about overweight people's health. <laughs> it's about power. And I think that it bothers them how comfortable she is in her body. And if Lizzo can spread that same type of self-value and self-worth and instill that in other people, then they lose the influence that they have over women and how women should be. So I think that that's the fear. Um, and that's also the reason why they don't compare men to women, because a lot of that comes from, you know, uh, manosphere like men have that type of conversations about women and talk about women's looks and whenever you end up becoming a damn pick me you pick up a lot of their logic and they see that Lizzo is going against the grain I think that's what bothers them if Lizzo was big and insecure then they would prefer that what I also think is interesting is people didn't talk about Adele like that when Adele was hmm. talk about it Adele was really big. And what's crazy is people didn't even really talk about Adele like that when she got back fine. I mean, not fine, small and fine, because she looked completely different. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, yeah, people didn't, I mean, people mm -hmm. talked about it, but they didn't, it wasn't even anywhere near the level that they comment on Lizzo's body and she big and fine. So I just, I don't understand. I think it's a power thing. It's a black people thing. That's what it's given. Yeah. And, and it's the fact that I don't think that Adele was, she didn't appear to be as comfortable in her body as Lizzo does. So mm -hmm. Adele wasn't spreading any positive influence over her being bigger. They hate that Lizzo's doing that. And to be clear, it's because she was white. Like, I hate to say it, but being a black woman, you have to have a certain amount of strength and confidence because if you don't, then you will crumble because everything teaches you and, you know, I, I'm going to keep it a buck. Yeah, we, we we love our, you know, darkest hue and our black girl Instagram and TikTok and hashtags and all of that. But I, I was born in 1988, my nigga. Like, <laughs> you had to really feel like that about yourself. Like, before we got to this point where you could search for a hashtag and make sure all your fucking Instagram and TikTok was beautiful black, you know, black, dark, you know, right. black, beautiful women. We didn't have that option back in the you day. had to get so that in magazines. Right. You had to just feel that. You, you had to hope your mommy and your aunties and steal that shit in you so you could feel confident about yourself growing up. Because otherwise, all of the depictions were of, honestly, dope, you know, dope, uh, uh, addicted looking white girls. Like, yep. I hate but everybody looked like they was a, a damn, you know, dope head. Like they did, you know, drugs. It was skinny and didn't eat and look emaciated, especially in the 90s. Dark circles under your eyes was a thing. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what was your girl who was the big model back in the day? And she was real, uh, real uh, Kate, Kate something? She was a big model. Uh -huh. no, 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 yeah, he, not not a big. Oh, model. I thought you meant okay. Um, no, yeah, the yeah. skinny girl. Are you talking about the one that was married to? Uh, not the... Kim. No, not that one. There was another one that day, and I'm spacing on her name, Kate Moss. Thank you. Kate Moss was like the poster girl for that skinny, doughy-eyed white girl, heroin chic. Thank y'all. Thank you so much for that. The heroin chic look was huge when we were growing up in the 90s. Okay. So that's the exact opposite of somebody that looks like Lizzo. So 
to be a black woman and not like I can like, I'm gonna keep it a book. I didn't go to Hollywood and try to be an actress because I knew that they were gonna impose on me to look a certain way. And no matter what, I wasn't comfortable with putting myself through whatever it was gonna take to look that way, to be that skinny. Because when I was that skinny, I was depressed and I wasn't eating. So mm. Brittany, 125 pounds or less, doesn't look healthy. And I knew if I was going to be an actress or be in the industry because of the industry we grew up in, you were going to have to be a certain size, especially being 5'3". You're mm -hmm. going to have to be extremely small. You're going to have to be like 100 pounds. And I don't look good at 125. <laughs> like, y'all, I'm a good, healthy 145, 150. Like, that's my weight where I'm healthiest. So growing up, like knowing that that was what was expected of me to be that small, I just felt like I couldn't do certain things. Mm -hmm. So it took a lot of guts to be a Lizzo. Mm -hmm. you know and we had shit like America's Next Top Model. <laughs> I was literally in middle school thinking, mm, I could be a plus size model. Because Tyra Banks was literally <laughs> like, it was crazy. And I hate the fact that we blame Tyra for it because I feel like that was the industry that Tyra grew up in. Yeah, true. Yeah. We really mm -hmm. only reiterated what was expected of her as a mom. Right. Yeah. And then yep. everybody's like, you're you're making us feel this way. It's like, bitch, this is the, this is the industry that she worked in. And it's crazy to me because let's blame the black lady for just showing y'all the truth about what was expected of models back in the day. Let's be mad mm -hmm. at her about, you know, continuing to force that on these other girls. But it's like she felt like that was how you made it. Because when they were coming up, that That's was what they how had you to made do. it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? So, yeah, y'all. It's yeah. it's a mess with, with uh, Candace and the way she goes after Lizzo. Jamie, did you have anything to say? No. No, I'm not so, say That's cool because we got a little, like... A little change. I we ain't really gonna talk about this, but this is an answer basically from Ariana Grande. Okay. Oh, um, and I, I was like, hoping you was gonna talk about you. yeah. This was a perfect segue. Yeah, exactly. So let's go ahead and do it. I think we could be. I think we should be gentler and less comfortable commenting on people's bodies, no matter what. If you think you're saying something good or well intentioned, whatever it is, healthy, unhealthy, big, small, this, that, sexy, not sexy. I, I don't. We just shouldn't. We should really work towards not doing that as much. There are ways to compliment someone or to ignore something that you see that you don't like um, that I think we should help each other work towards just to aim towards being safer and keeping each other safer. Um, but I just also wanted to say, one, there are many different kinds of beautiful. There are many different ways to look healthy and beautiful. I know personally for me, the body that you've been comparing my current body to was the unhealthiest version of my body. I was on a lot of antidepressants and drinking on them and eating poorly and at the lowest points of my life when I looked the way you consider my healthy, but that in fact wasn't my healthy. Um, and I shouldn't, I know I shouldn't have to explain that, but I do feel like maybe having an openness and some sort of vulnerability here will be something my good might come from it. I don't know. I don't know, but that's the first thing. Healthy can look different. The second thing is you never know what someone is going through. So even if you are coming from a loving place and a caring place, that person probably is working on it or has a support system that they are working on it with. And you never know. So be gentle with each other and with yourself. All right. So that's what Ariana Grande had to say. And we're going to speak on it for a minute. But I did like her message, even though I don't know what's going on with Ariana Grande's body. I don't. I don't pay attention to her like that. She's not in my wheelhouse to keep it mm. a book. Yeah. Um, but what I will say is I appreciated the fact that she felt the need to like come out and say, Hey, I, I see what y'all are saying. Back the fuck off me because you don't know me like that. And right. that's mm -hmm. the deal because whether it's her or it's Lizzo, I feel like everybody has all of these expectations of other people's bodies, and y'all are weird as fuck. If if Ariana Grande was unhealthy before, and she might be a little bit smaller now when she's trying to figure that out for herself, she might be stressed out. Do you really feel like you need to comment on that shit and let that lady know in her in her mentions how you feel about her body? You're weird as fuck. It was the fact that people were just saying, praying for you. 
Like that, wow. <laughs> that wow. I went through her comments and people were like praying for you, whatever you're going through, praying for you. And it's like, maybe don't say nothing at all. Yeah, because a lot of times people don't even be knowing what's going on. It's kind of to Bondi's point of what she said earlier. Um, you will have to be extremely small. Well, I won't say extremely small, but back then it was like, of course, we always got criticized more. So we know we would have to have slimmed down to get certain roles. Now, depending on the type of role that you book, um, sometimes you're required to lose weight for that. And I think that could be what's going on with Ariana because she does have a movie that she is about to start production on. So that might have something to do with her um, her changing look. I don't know if for sure, if it's, the you know, because of the show or if it's her own... Um, choosing but i think she's filming some movie or something called wicked and it makes me yeah. kind of think of Wick, uh, wizard of oz or something like that yeah it's the two witches yeah so i think that that might have something to do with her look the books yeah it's like they are uh, is it based off a book i know they've had plays <laughs> yeah we okay okay no i saw the plays too um this is what she's looking like these days and and she does look extremely small she and she is already a small person but i also feel like you know i would rather trust her opinion of her body mm -hmm. at this point because ultimately i feel like y'all feel like lizzo is obese and i don't think lizzo is obese <laughs> like i just think lizzo's a big girl and she's tall mm -hmm. but it's the same way that i feel like ariana grande is a very like tiny petite person yeah. and i don't know what's going on with her weight but i also feel like it's not for me to get under her mentions and comment about mm -hmm. right yeah so i just want y'all to stop they did this to Anthony Anderson a, a, a couple of weeks. What they said about uh, that wasn't a couple of weeks. That was a long time ago. There, I remember people doing that to Anthony Anderson when he lost a lot of weight. Oh, I didn't know that. Girl, let me see his Instagram. Let me see. Let's yeah, that was right months ago. Oh, look. Um, Anthony, Anthony Anderson. I, I just feel like, you know, everybody just kind of thinks it's their business to comment on other people bodies and i just wish they would stop like you could feel how you want to feel i get it like sometimes like for instance star jones <laughs> star jones always seemed to look better skinny to me mm -hmm. you know um but at the same time like if that lady feel healthier at whatever way she's at that's that's on her but yeah ooh. Mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say anything bad about it but it's different it's different. Uh -huh. It's just different. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, he got muscle in his arm. He got a lot of muscle in that forearm. Okay, so we are gonna hope that it strengthens that forearm because you know we know a lot of y'all like to be out here getting fake muscles. Mm. <laughs> the implants. Yeah, I hope those muscles are real because I need muscles to mean you strong. And not just that you look good. Y'all niggas is out here weird. If I catch a nigga out here with muscles that's not real, like, I I'm telling everybody. <laughs> it's fake muscles. Okay. So let's 